Here is an overview of some of the designs of the head box, which you are familiar with. I'm very sure that uh, either you have one of them or multiple of them and so on. It is what we call the air padded head box, the manifold header, distributor tubes, which I'm going to talk about it in the next uh, videos or so, rectifier rows, you can have one or two or three or even multiple, five of them, and of course, you know, a slice after that where the jet emerges out of the slice. There is another head box, which we call it convert flow type head box, uh, or hydraulic head box. It does not have rectifier rows, but it have what we call trailing sheets. Sometimes people call it Lexan sheets, but Lexan is just a material. But these are trailing sheets, and the idea is to impart some kind of pressure drop through the system, which can supposedly improve uh, the basis weight uniformity and so on. Again, you can have the manifold, distributor tubes, stilling chamber, that's one of the old design which you have stilling chamber and there is a lot of problems out here in that area, trailing sheets and then slice and so on. And here is a cutoff um, uh, diagram of that head box where you can see again manifold, tubes, stilling chamber and then the trailing sheets. When you look at it from outside, you say, well, you know, it's a head box. But as I said, it is deceiving. You have to talk about velocity, acceleration between the velocity in the manifold and the distributor tubes. What kind of velocity over here in that stilling chamber? If it is too low, you end up with fiber flocculation, holes in the sheet and all kinds of problems, basis weight variation and so on. And these are the trailing sheets. Are they the right design, the right weight? Are, you, uh, are they are suspended ev evenly inside the head box or just you know up or down or so on? There's a lot of things can happening over there and we do perform uh, as papyrus company in all these kind of details. It is another head box, which again, gap former, high speed gap former. You know, the head box basically can be either one of these, but mostly in um, the hydraulic type, where the jet meets between two wires or in the gap in between. And of course, the calculation for each one is completely different. And that's what I'm trying to explain it to you. Things are not as simple as one can expect.